Ezran's check-in for week three. Yeah, so moving along through the Odyssey of Song workbook. And let's see what we've done so far. Okay, so there's a few questions asked here. And I'll just read the answers and hopefully you get the questions along the way. Um, the Chew Chew Chewing Gum song was a song I remember writing with my mom when I was in the sixth grade. The song was about growing up as a little kid, loving to chew gum. Yes, music was played in my house. My sister played the piano and my mom and my, my dad um, they could sing really well. They, we all grew up singing in church. Um, I sang in church, in the church choir, my whole life. It's a big part of my childhood. My favorite song is maybe a Jack Johnson song. Um, you know, I mean, we've all heard uh, Jack Johnson playing on the radio, like what, back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, I, I don't, Okay, so the next question is, do you, you know, what has prompted you to start your journey now? And why didn't you do it before? Or I think the question is, do you play an instrument? And my answer was, didn't play an instrument because I didn't think I was musically talented. Which saying out loud now is kind of ridiculous because you don't have to have talent to play music. Um, timing, timing was the spark to get me started on my journey to learn to play the guitar. I was in Toastmasters confessing one of my deepest, darkest secrets, and my shaman appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, um, so three temptations. Uh, I was tempted to follow the Dalai Lama in Tibet. So, like, sell everything I had, leave all the jobs I had. And actually, this was a homeless gentleman that prompted this to me. And I almost did it. But I had my dream car, and it was, like, really tough. I had just landed a really good job, and I was on the fence. But who knows what would have happened if that happened. Second, become a missionary in China um, playing basketball. So they had a program where you could go to China and, you know, play basketball and, like, you know, reach out. And uh, that was in college and didn't decide to do that. Third temptation, and I, I may be running this challenge wrong, but this is kind of like what came to mind. Uh, be, be, uh, going to photography school in New York, I was offered to full scholarship to Pratt College in New York out of high school because I started doing a lot of creative work my senior year and the word got out. I actually went went to Cal Arts that summer before college, but I got accepted to UCSB. So that's why I'm here in Santa Barbara. Didn't go to New York, but I think about that a lot. Three challenges. I had terrible grades in college. Uh, I was, I, I feel like I'm super smart and I think that gets it gets my way sometimes because I just like the guitar. I just think, oh well, you know, yeah, I can just get up to the guitar and just go at it. But that's not the case. You have to practice and you have to learn the proper steps to do it. So in college, I just try to take tests without studying, and obviously, it's a little bit more difficult. I still got by pretty well, but uh, didn't have the grades I wanted. But I figured that out towards the end because you can't graduate unless you have the right grades. Uh, second, I left I left my basketball team in elementary school slash high school. So that's a long story. I'm sure it'll come up again. I'll be brief about that. But in elementary school, sixth grade, same time I wrote the Choo 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 and Gum song, I had to, I left the basketball team and that was very dramatic for me. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I, that's probably one that I still haven't really gotten over yet. Mm -hmm. And number three, death of my father and brother within two years from each other. That was tough. I have a pretty good relationship with death, but still I think, you know, it, it alters you a little bit. 
wasn't dramatic alterations, but I'm sure there's some tweaks in there in the process. So that's a little update. That's just one page out of the, the workbook. There's a lot of other things that we're gonna go over to uh, go over today, but you know these lessons really help you tap into like the real stuff inside you, you know, and playing an instrument helps you express that. So if you can't get full expression, then you're not getting adequate, you know, um, opportunity to to express yourself through music. So it's very important. Thank you.